Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a video that's been requested due to our uh, previous video where people wanted to hear what we enjoyed most about Dota. Uh, I just want to say if you're coming back from that video or if you're, you've just clicked on the video, please remember to leave a like on the video and drop us a, you know, a sub if you're enjoying. Um, I don't think, I think we had a lot of comments on the other video, but uh, I think a few people may have forgotten to like, but yeah, don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe. Um, yeah, so we're back here and we're going to be looking at like the things we enjoy about Dota because the other video, one, we weren't trying to bash on Dota, we just kind of said some of the things that we struggled with learning it and some of the gripes we kind of had with it and again if we like if we we could do one about league there's loads of things that we hate and annoy about league so. actually yeah, if you want to see one about league uh comment that we'll do one about yeah, we'll, league yeah we'll gladly bash league if anyone wants to get around <laughs> on that <laughs> but yeah dog pile so of today, league <laughs> so today we're going to be uh looking at some of the things we enjoy about dota and some of our favorite things is we've been playing it so uh I don't know if you want to get started on this one, uh, as soon as I started last time. Yeah, I'll start this one. Also, if you, just want to add, if you do want to see the last, the hate video, that is in the top right. Also, it is in the description if you want to watch it. Yeah. I think we're just doing four or two, or two each. Yeah, we, like, so we can do, uh, we can do like, second parts to these if anyone wants to see any more things we hate or any more things we like. I have three really good ones. Um, I can only pick two. That's so annoying. Um... I mean, if you can get one extra one in quick at the end, see as you're going first, we can get the next one in. Or if they hit enough, if they hit enough likes, then we can do a part two. Um, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to say the events. The events are a lot cooler than they are in League of Legends. Because there's just, like, shit to do. There's, like, little games in there. It, like, makes you play different heroes. Oh, uh, yeah, like, yeah, to get all the tokens, like, it's the um, crown foul. Exactly, yeah, League, it's like, you play a few games, you don't actually pay attention. It's a, it's a, battle, it's a battle pass, isn't it? You pay yeah. for a battle pass and then you've got to play games to get points, I think that's most, like... Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. There's other events and stuff, but that's like the main event for playing actual League. Yeah, and it's just, if unless if you're like, if you're buying it and proper grinding it out, then it might be fun, but it's still probably not that fun. Well, I did that for one of them, and I didn't realize like I, I didn't hover over the resource, but basically I lost all of them before like, I could. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. Skin. I lost all the points because I didn't realize you bing it. I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> that's that's annoying. Try not to swear, but yeah, that's, that's, I just thought that's annoying. I could have bought like the uh, prestige center skin because with the uh, points they had, then like say they just disappeared because the event had gone. Like they're very quick to move on from things. Yeah. <laughs> Which will lead, that, that will lead into that one of my, my first things to be fair, but yeah. So quick to move on from How much did that cost you? Like a tether? No, I didn't. Um, I don't think I paid for it. Or did I? No. You I definitely did, I... did pay for it. Well, you know, yeah, we paid for the battle pass. You want no, well, no, we didn't finish. pay for the battle pass. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> you I mean, paid for the battle pass. pass. That, was like, that was like years ago. Like that. Thinking about that, I was like back when we like, first played with I was doing bot matches to Just making sure I was yeah. recorded. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was the audio on. Can you hear it, bro? <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. Oh, no, good, so. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, well, like I said, with Crownfall, it makes you what you know, have to play a variety of heroes, so you have to change a bit. There's uh, even like the mini games. I know everyone loved the fishing and even the little fighting games. So if even though it's simple, you've got the extra bits, you know, to aim for. And, you know, it's even interactive with other people. Like, people can send you tokens. You can send them tokens, you know, do, do whatever. And, you know, even, even, it's easy to progress as well. Considering me and James didn't play a lot, we still managed to get through a lot of the, like, a lot of the things. Because um, you've got the, some out, you know, whatever out or whatever. And on, um, I, again, we don't really get a chance to play a lot. But we still managed to make it a fair way through, even with us not having to play and grind out, like, loads of games to get the tokens like it's very generous and you don't feel like even if you're behind you don't feel like you've got to like traverse a mountain to catch up you know before the, the event ends like this event's been going on for a while so it's not like you you you've got no time to do it you know you can kind of hop on and you can smash it out whenever so it is it's a lot more i'd say it's a lot more user friendly and a lot more it's it's, it's more like you say it's more fun they are a bit more fun out there yeah, like it, they exist. <laughs> yeah, so they, yeah, I do. Um, yeah, they are, yeah, they are better. I agree. Okay, we agree. Let's 
comments get slurred in the comments again. Which brings us to our next point, the graphics. The graphics are just really good. <laughs> okay. Where are we putting this, Sam? The events. I, have, I think it'd have a going Dota Enjoyer or Big Dota Enjoyer because the art, it adds to the game. Like, like say, it makes you play different heroes and you, you're managing something in the background rather than playing for the sake of playing. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, put yeah. it, I'll put it in here then. Yeah, cause it, like I say, it is, uh, I think it's fun. Okay, right. <clears throat> so, yeah. my thing that there I want to get there before you, because again, this leads on to the whole thing of League gets rid of stuff too quick. <laughs> oh no. I like the arena mode. Like, we've discovered it recently, and I didn't realise how vast and how much. How, like, Wait, I kid? Yeah, I kid. Sorry, I kid. <laughs> I, was, I was really confused arena about mode. arena say, mode. Yeah, I was like, what? I kid. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 I actually yeah, do yeah, have yeah. arcade written down, wrote down as well. I, I was going to say I really, I really hope to use yeah, that's my big one. I didn't include it because half. Well, I say, well, hang on, let's calm down. Not half. Ninety percent. <laughs> wait, ninety-five percent of the arcade games are dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, I have to say <laughs> it. But the thing with arcade, though, it's the fact that. You can there's there's so many things you can look through and go on and play and do, and I I say they're all just there. Like if someone comes up with a good game mode, they can update it, and it's you know gets constant updates if they if, if the person is so inclined to do so. Like we played the um, it was the auto battle app. It won't be one auto battle app. but it's the fact that it's there and they don't get rid of it. Whereas with League, like League had Swarm. Swarm was fun. We played it for a month and then they took it away. It's like you've lost all your progress. Yeah, all that time. But it's yeah, fun. we really enjoyed Swarm. We didn't even finish it either. I know, so it's like, you know, they kind of did it. They'd have it for a couple of months and then get rid of it. Why Whereas couldn't they just arcades, leave it? Why couldn't they just leave it there for like. like they always get they get rid of everything fun, don't they? There was loads of other modes where people, you know, said, why, why did they get rid of this? Yeah, but yeah, it's the, and then they don't bring it back half a time. It's surely it's like more hard work to get rid of it. They could just leave it there for like half a year or something. Well, it was even like the meme, the whole meme of it. Like League puts more effort into making the those types of extra bits, only to take them away and <laughs> leave the game as a, a heartbroken mess. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, a heartbroken mess may be a bit, a bit dramatic, but, um, but yeah, like I said, just the. The arcade mode, it's just like if you don't if you want to play Dota but you don't want to play proper Dota, you can just go in there, like there's I there's even like tower defence ones, we haven't tried the tower defence stuff yet. I do like um, a tower defence. I do, so I do want to give that a go to be fair. But like I say it's just the fact that you've got all of all of it there and it's there. You're not gonna like rip it away from you. Like, oh I enjoy this and then a week later, where's it gone? Oh well, yeah, we took it away. <laughs> Oh no, it's just all that. Right. So you've got. Um, um, so I think this is either. To me, I'd want to slap it in. Um, Dota Enjoyer or um, Casual Dota Enjoyer. Because it's like, again, if you're not. If you're not up for a proper Dota game but still want to play Dota, it's there for you to. Yeah, enjoy and uh, do if you want something a little bit different. I'll put it in Casual. Because you, you, you were thinking around there. And I was thinking around there, so I think we just meet in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, that's all right. That sounds sounds good to me. But do you want? Do you want one that's like an in-game one, or do you want one that's not really about like in-game? I think an in-game one would be good because it's based on what my next one's gonna be. So I feel like an actual in-game game. Okay, yeah, hey, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pick. <laughs> The courier. Oh yeah, I was to be fair, I was thinking about doing this for anyone. <laughs> it's so convenient. It is, I love the courier. Once you're allowed to use it and what you can do with it, it is very helpful and very fun. See, yeah. after playing so much Dota and then going back to League, it's such a ball like thinking, oh, I've got to go back to the spawn now. I've got, I've just got to back. Yeah, because I think. I like I liked backing in league because it, you got your health and mana back. I mean, Dota, obviously, you, you just have it brought to you. Yeah, 
because we didn't know how it's like we was using our mana. We didn't. We were using spells left, right, center. Like, yeah, you know, like it was. Late, oh, but... that should have been on the hit list. The how much mana spells cost? Oh my yeah. lord! Just leave it in for that too. Like, <laughs> you <laughs> use like three oh, spells, you... and that's but... all of your mana oh, gone. Like yeah, what? But this is the enjoy video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's even when you're dead, you can like uh, sneak him round to go to the secret shop. Yeah, you know, even, well you can do it on your life. Yeah, there are buttons to do it automatically. But if, uh, if you're our, dead, or CW you for normal need people. To, um, but if you're like dead. And uh, you need to try and sneak him out. Like you can like go here, here, and sneak him out. I think the career as well. It helps keep the pace of the game going. Like instead of having to base reset, come back, start again, sort of thing. You're, you can be farming, you know, farming the jungle, getting your camps, doing whatever. Be in lane, you can be anywhere on your map. You just press was it? F1. Yeah. And um, literally the career comes over, brings your items, yeah, so you can still be farming. As soon as you hit your gold, like, whatever you need, you know, gold you need to buy the item, buy it, press F1, come, brings it to you, and you're still farming, so you're not losing any time or having to go back and do it. There's no downtime because of it, which it, it, it helps speed up the game and make, like, it makes you feel like something's always happening, if that makes sense. Yeah, because I, I play top lane in League, uh, so I watch a lot of high level top lane players and how it works is one guy will push the wave to the enemy tower then he'll back and then the other guy will push it into the other tower and then he'll back and then at that point the other guys come and he pushes the next wave into the tower then he backs, and then about then he then by the time he comes, and it's just like what what are we watching here? What's going on? <laughs> like it's just what what? It's starting to sound like uh, some of the people in the comments from the video now. It was just so boring to watch because no one no one wants to push up because they'll get ganked, so they might as well just back. Anyway, where are we putting this? Um, I think. It to be fair, I think it's like a, a big or potentially an S. Oh! Because it just uh, it is very convenient. How much do I love it? Do I love it as too much as being S? Do I love it this much? <laughs> Find out in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> um... You know what? Yeah, we'll leave it as an S. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. If if it it's somewhere between there, but I'll give it an S. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Right. So my last one. Uh, I feel like I know where I want to put this. Um, just as a general thing. Um, well, I'll say it at the end. But I've got to say, as as weird as it may sound to some people, uh, especially if people have played Dota a lot more. I want to say that I'm actually, I enjoy the community. Oh, here he goes, sucking up to the community. (laughs) Genuinely, right? (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to allow you to use this as a platform to suck up to the dirt community. Hear me out. (laughs) It's it's more in a sense of, well, for one, I know people have said, uh, yeah, games of Dota, um... Obviously, you've got people like being toxic and flaming, but from uh, from my well, from us playing, the amount like we played once, we streamed it once, and straight away we got like people saying, "Oh, you know, dropping in on the streams and saying, oh, do you want teaching? You know, drop, I can coach you if you want. I can help you out. You know, this, that, the other, and just being like, say, helpful and nice, and then." Uh, even in like again the comments of the other video, even though we you know were saying about the bits we didn't like about it, there's no one that's like been in the comments and said, Oh, you know, you're a you're a set of idiots, you know, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, like obviously <laughs> we've had it like it's been more of a debate and a discussion, you know, of like bits and pops, which is nice. But it's even in a sense of the like, when it comes to the community, it's like how Dota actually like interacts with the community. Again, like again with like arcade, building on from that. People can go on and make the games. You know, it's actually people 
that are making the games and make it so people can do that. And even with the old, um, like with skins, the that people make skins, then put them all up on a voting thing, and whoever whoever skins get the most votes, they they put it in the game. And uh, yeah, 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 it's right. like it's such a thing of, you know, they're like letting people go. Oh yeah, you can make a skin, do you know thingy. Then we'll let again the community vote for who, who, what they want to see in the game. So it's it is very it seems like a very it's very big on the community based kind of events and style of doing things, which it is it is nice. And um, so obviously with league, it's a, a lot more of a whole. You know, or they make a an Irish skin that costs what four hundred dollars. So yeah. it's, again, it, with. I know there's a toxic side of it, but from our experience and from my experience, I feel like there's a lot more. It's been a lot more welcoming to play rather than League. So I think in the Discord as well, which link to the Discord. But um, in, I'm pretty sure in there I, I mentioned that the first game because with League you got to play against bots for the first few matches. The first game I had against actual people. I'm pretty sure I got told to uninstall the game because I was crap. <laughs> that was like my first or second game. <laughs> so compared to Dota, where I don't know if like, I've actually got accidentally got the uh, chat muted because I know we have had people like a bit mad on some of the pitches. But like I say, we've got we've had like again people have joined the Discord. We've had games where we've, like had a full five stack of people in like I don't know the uh, the ranks, but you know high ranks like. I don't know if anyone's immortal or all like that, but and we've done that and had a, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, we'll see how this goes. It could go. It's either going to go to crap or it's going to go good or, you know, we'll see what happens and we'll just play it and then they've given us tips, helped us. Like, say, Joe, especially big shout out to Joe. He's uh, given us, made whole PowerPoints to teachers, even though I, I forget what's in them a lot of the time, accidentally. <laughs> I'll let you've done the lesson yeah. all together. Yeah, I, I genuinely don't mean to. I, I've got the worst memory. But they like, say even him, he came, he came like he was one of the first people that watched us play Dota, and he's made PowerPoint. Very first Dota stream, stream, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was on when you streamed on Kick. He came from there. Oh, um, maybe there is a benefit to streaming on Kick. <laughs> but um, yeah, like say, so he helped us out, and uh, like say, got us. The video that really popped off, so a big um, shout out to him for that. Um, we, we really appreciate it. Um, so I, I've got to say, I do the community with how how Dota as a game, like Valve, how they communicate and let the community be involved with the game and you know do stuff. And then also, just again, I know it's a lot of toxic sides of it, but how welcoming it has been and how how many people are, you know, or even when we started, people saying. It's nice to see people get better and improve at the game. Literally, everyone was saying that. And it's like, bloody hell, if this was League. You know, that'd yeah, be we've got that loads. Yeah, it, yeah so it'd be like, in League, it'd be blasphemy. Or have a, you, if you start playing League, you better be like God tier from day one. <laughs> Whereas in Dota, it's like, oh no, you know, obviously you, you know, people say, you start you start with this, start with that, take it one step at a time. And, it's, and the other time people said, it's great to see how, how far you've come from you know, when you first started playing. And it does feel good, and it, yeah, to me it's welcoming, and everyone seems nice. So. Yeah. Um, While you've been talking, I've been thinking about in what ways does League integrate the community in, like, what they do. <laughs> and like, I've I remember they give like Tal one all these like medals stuff when he completed. Um, the Fav lanes when he got to challenge on the Fav lanes and yeah. they've done other stuff with other streamers but if you're not like a big streamer I don't think they integrate the community at all. Like, I might be yeah. mistaken but I can't off the top of my head I can't think how they integrate the community at all. Well, the only thing that gets integrated is uh, your money in their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah apart from a really shite event every couple of months. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, the the pop off when they do like the special games and stuff again, like Swarm or TFT and stuff like that. Pop off then, but that's not about it. All right, where do you want to put it, Sam? Right, I want to put it. Um, to be fair, I would put it in S for it, but I want to put it 
in Mix's smile because generally thinking about not in a thing of putting it at the bottom of the tea list. <laughs> it's more of a thing that it generally makes me smile, knowing that you know, like just knowing how, how like say people compliment him and being like, oh, you yeah, just boosting us up and you know giving us that everything. It, just, it makes me smile. It makes me happy. You can put in brackets S <laughs> if you want on the mix as well. Yeah, someone's put it at the bottom of the tier list. I want to put I, me personally. I'd put it at the top because I think you guys are a great oh. community. But Sam, <laughs> but, so, wait, but Sam thinks that it should be at the bottom. Oh. So oh. <laughs> here we go. Put it at the top. Put it at the top. Put it at the top. That's like are you brackets. sure? You did, yeah, no, don't pander that. just because. <laughs> oh no no! I see. It's more of the whole. I'm gonna have to change that ball. I was just saying, it does make me smile. Like, genuinely, it's a general general thing. Like, it, it does make me smile thinking about the comments we're back in there, what people, you know, how people are doing. So. Well, I just realised the entire time it said makes us smiles. I, I didn't say that. I thought make. <laughs> I said that earlier. Did you not hear me? No, the it, it said makes again. a smile. I said makes a smile is cute. Makes a smile. Brackets. I see my thing. For the record, so do I. I'm <laughs> pretty sure it. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know how long it's been. I don't know if you want to do one more. I think that next one. Um, let's be five minutes. Do you know what? I have some really good ones. But if you want to see those really good ones, then you must drop a like and subscribe if you're not, please. And we will do a second part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that? and if you want, if you want as well, we can get some. Uh, we've got, we've got we're getting our Discord. We've got um, a few people that all um, a few people that play Dota on the regs. If they want to uh, say what they don't like about League. Uh, we could do it either way around. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so you know, letting you behind the curtain a little bit here. So what I was gonna say to you earlier was when we should do what Dota people, what Dota players hear about League, mm. and get the Dota players in our Discord to send us recommendations, and then us as League players will rate them. Either that, or we get like people lined up one at a time. Land up, actually, I'm, I prefer, I prefer like, land up. I really prefer, I prefer land up. I was going to say, if everyone kind of came in at once, it's like, okay, so what do we hear about well, League? And like, uh, people start talking at once. Like, okay. okay. Well, I was, I was just going to like, you know, get some messages off them. But if they are free, I guess we, we, we could get them in over. Just, oh, you would have to record it all at once. We could yeah, just, yeah, uh, you over know, the course of a week. Session. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Um, again, leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And like I say, we've, uh, we can do a part two. We've got some extra, extra things. Do a part two. Uh, if you want to see Dota players playing on League, and let us know in the comments or let us know any other ideas you want to see. Coaching videos, coaching or anything. Let us know in the comments and we'll have uh, we'll probably, um, we'll probably do what, everyone, what people want to see us do, to be fair. So. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.